the real reason why I came to Michael's is because I've seen this um, project, like mini kind of cross stitching stuff. So I kind of had a thought that I wanted to do some, so I'm just gonna see if I can find the stuff that I'm looking for. I'm not sure, but I'll see. Um, because I need like a, I need a needle as well. So I don't know if I can get everything here. But they do have a lot of um, the threads and stuff like that. Hey, I'm just popping on really quick because I am editing. And I realized I went to Michael's, talked about getting some cross stitch stuff, and then I'm not on here sharing anything. The reason why is because the they didn't have the size of needle I wanted and I kind of like to get everything together. So it was just out of stock at the time. Right now, currently, I have a bunch of stuff sitting in a shopping cart on Michael's online. However, I haven't finished picking out all the colors of the floss I want. And so I've just been so busy with the other things. I haven't had time, but eventually I'll get to it. I wanted to do a creator project that didn't have to be perfect. Just it wasn't for my shop. It, I could just have fun with it and sit down and do it whenever there's no time thing on it and I know that like needle punching is huge and I've seen people um, do that stuff but I have never needle punched before. I've seen a project that was done and it was like a bunch of like little tiny little things like whatever it is you want. Um, I see that people do them when they go on trips and stuff so I was like you know I don't have any art in here. How cool would it be if I had time to design things that I actually like and then cross stitch them and they could be like little mini cross stitches and then every time I kind of get a chance I can build onto it and then I can frame it and stick it on the wall in here doesn't matter if it takes a year it's just like a fun little thing for me to sit down and do so that's why I was looking for supplies I also have an idea that I haven't knitted mittens in a while I don't know why but every once in a while I get on this thing where I like will knit a set of like a hat and some mittens and stuff I do have limited time, so I was thinking the cross stitch would be a better idea um, because especially if I made mini ones and said, hey, if I make them small enough and it takes me a half an hour to do one of them, then every once in a while I can do one. I can share that with you guys. And then in the end, I'm working towards having like something to stick on my wall or on the shelf in here. So I thought that may be fun. Will I get time to do it? The stuff's in my cart. It takes me a long time to do stuff and while I'm saying this there's like a hundred other things going on with scrunchies and I'm still going to be working on the bags back there but I think it's really important to carve out creative time like I want to do so many things I still want to make beta bracelets <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for a while beta bracelets knit some mittens do some cross stitch I'm always going to want to do these things but it's finding the time so I think though I should get some stuff and at least do a few of them and it could just it doesn't matter how long it takes so I don't have anything to show you right now but I thought I'd just pop on and kind of explain what was going on there and I'm working on it I've got like so much on the go but eventually I'll get to it so if that's kind of your thing and you may be interested or you cross stitch or you know I'm not really sure how much like I'll probably share a bit, a bit about it but um, yeah I don't know so anyways, I will stop rambling now and go back to the vlog. It's been a while. I am just going to put you guys, I'm just semi getting ready for the day. And when I say semi getting ready for the day, it is like, it's like almost three o'clock. Guys, I'm not excellent with the camera setup. Let's face it. Um, yeah. So today's plan was, oh, sorry. I'm just using this. I don't know if it's gonna focus. It's a heart lip balm in the color is Orchid and it tastes like coconuts. Um, it doesn't burn. Some lip balms I don't like. It is a little bit sticky, I would say, um, but I don't really mind that because I feel like, I feel like it's kind of moisturizing. My lips get really dry and if I don't apply like some lip balm underneath and then put on lipstick and also I feel like lipstick comes off and I feel like it looks really severe on me. I'm waiting for my shirt in the dryer. I heard the dryer go off. I didn't even have a clean t-shirt. Like I just didn't do that laundry yesterday. Um, I've been so busy. I have to check my on my phone but I'll show you guys in a minute all the stuff I got done 
and I've been tracking my time. So if I spend like X amount of hours on a certain task, then I'm writing it down. And it's just to generally see like how many can I do. Um, so do I do, so what I did was um, this little shape tape. And I usually stick it under my eyes. I can totally tell, have, has anybody noticed this? The lip gloss is totally like, it's above my lip. Like how did that happen? I need to go wipe that off. Like it's right above my lip. Um, I just do this under my eyes and I don't even use that much. I feel like my eyes still look dark. Um, and I use it on any like imperfections on my face that I notice. Um, so I do that and I'm running low on it. So I just ordered another um, tube of it. The only thing I find with it is um, maybe because it's at the bottom of the bottle. I didn't like this. What I'm noticing now, I didn't realize when I started using it, that if I put it on and you let it for a few seconds sit, it's hard to blend. But if you just put, so I have to just like do, put it under my eyes and then I'll blend it right away before I move on to another spot. So sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, and then I do my um, Amazon Clay Blurring Powder Foundation. So I use this. And all my colors are in neutral, like light neutral. Um, so I'm using that. And yeah, so I was going to do some eyeshadow, maybe. I did my eyebrows with this. The Goof Proof. Goof Proof. I can never say it. Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I think that I want to get a little bit of a lighter shade. My eyebrows are dark to begin with. But when I did the online try on, it actually had me in the medium shade. So I make it, if they have it in a smaller size or without the spoolie on the end, I may try and get a lighter one and see how that goes. And I can always kind of like blend a light one and a dark one because I just feel like this makes my eyebrows look even darker. So yeah, they're pretty dark to begin with anyway. But yeah, I was thinking, do I do my eyes? I always look better if I do some eyeshadow and stuff, but I don't really want to. And I have to fix this, like that's bother me. Okay, so I decided I'm not gonna do eyes today. I kind of put myself together. <laughs> so me Taylor, I need to run downstairs and grab a t-shirt because I thought that I was gonna wear this top and then I was washing my t-shirts and I was like, I'm just gonna throw on like a sweater. But with the temperature, I think it is checking. Yeah, it's actually like 26. So I need a t-shirt. Um, so basically, I took a list on my phone, or I just took a notepad. It's not nothing special, and I started tracking my time. I feel like I could go in in depth a little bit more about this topic, about uh, your time and stuff, if people are interested and they're um, starting a small business or have one and need some help on that. But at the same time, I'm really not sure if that's, like the audience here on YouTube right now, if you guys are just here for the sewing and I have been incorporating a little bit more some personal stuff, I'm just basically winging it and doing what I feel okay doing. And a lot of the content that I'm creating is the same stuff that I consume. And I kind of consume a, ver a variety of things. I like watching a crafty video. I like watching somebody sew. I also like seeing what people are eating, what you're making for supper. I love like laundry segments and real life stuff and people going out to places. Um, so I kind of just, I think I create what I like to consume. So, but generally speaking, maybe that would be a video in the future that I can kind of sit down and we can chat about, but just to keep it really brief right now, I'm just marking my time. I got slightly, just a little over a hundred scrunchies sitting here. Um, and I'm already 10 hours in and I've just been doing, uh, the pattern marking, cutting the fabric, the labels. Um, I also had like the ordering of the materials and stuff like that. So this is what we have right now. And of course my battery is flashing. The battery is still not in stock. I'm supposed to get an email when it is and I keep checking. So I'm trying, I'm, I'm going to have to see if there's like maybe somewhere else I can get the battery, like a spare backup for this camera. But I will quickly, before my battery dies, just show you. <laughs> I kind of got like, I started, I got a sleeping cat over here in the window. That's okay. She's not on anything. Um, and then I have my machine out because I, this is my tester one for me, if you're wondering. So that's why I'm not super concerned right now. No, no production's being done. 
I was just um, working on my master pattern. I'm gonna maybe flip over the, not flip over, but change the opening where it the seam goes. So that's why that's there. <laughs> my makeup stuff is out. I know this looks like a bit of a mess, but I swear there's a system here. Um, the side seams are done on, not the side seams, right? The labels are in place. I have to uh, side seam and then tube these up. These ones up here, they got a little messy the other day. Um, it's hard to keep them perfectly neat. They are the smaller size ones. And then up here is, these are up here because they're ready to be sewn into tubes. So as soon as I get like all the side seams done, then I will just all probably throw them up here to be tubed. And then this is <laughs> the messiest pile, but can you see the fibers all on the shelf? That is why it's sat like that. <laughs> So I'm going to just leave that one there like that because it makes such a mess. So it's actually much later on. Um, I came upstairs for a minute. I did this one, but I made a change to the um, where I'm going to seam it close. But I feel like as soon as you do one change, it affects the other things on it. So I'm about to do another one, but I'm going to pin it in place. And... I think I'm going to have to make modifications to my actual master pattern. I'm trying to find a new one like this. I went on to Amazon the other night to find these. I bought this from Bed Bath & Beyond, but that was when there was actually like retail locations. Like you could go into the store and get them in Canada. However, like two of these was like $100 on Amazon. And I lost the, or not that I lost the straw, it's just, it wasn't, like, it, it just got older and I had, like, I couldn't use it. So I have these, like, weirdly colored reusable ones. So I'm trying to find another one as well. Also, if I, like, hit this over, it will spill. So, I hear cups. His question is, where in the world am I going to put you now? Because I feel like, once I pull over... You will not fit on that stand over there. Let me drag over a container. Let's see if this works. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of glare from where I'm sitting, um, but I'm just trying to get this one done. I do feel like there's one more peg that this one can come down the table. I may have to do that, um, just because I feel like it's a little bit high, but it's I haven't been sewing a whole lot. I'm just gearing up to sew, so I was like, um, let's get our back stitch on here. Okay, let's see how this one did. There was a lot of like stop and go on this one. I mean, mind you, most of them are stop and go anyways. It doesn't really, I mean, maybe you can be really fast, but even if you are using an industrial machine, this method, it, it would be different if you were just doing straight sewing on scrunchies. Yes, have an industrial machine, it's gonna speed it up, but it's um, not a huge difference when you're doing it in this method. Um, if you go too quick, you got to be careful because your fabric will shift. So let me take a look at this stuff here. Um, it's okay. It's not my favorite, this one, to be honest with you. So let's see where I'm not happy with and see where my seam is. Okay. So at least I have some direction on where as I'll be taking this and what can I do um with this because as soon as you do like i said as soon as i make one change you know i'm inspecting all the points of the scrunchie itself and yeah if i'm not happy with something i will redo it so where am i at on this is just reevaluating my master pattern i mean i can do it the way sorry there's like little threads everywhere um i can always do it the way that i've always done it but I was like, would I move the opening to the other side of the scrunchie instead of by the label? Is it visually 
a better option. So, and I'm also just trying to go through any other method that I know to improve upon the process. So that's where I'm kind of at on the, all this stuff. Um, because I sometimes have issues with the tag getting stuck inside the scrunchie and doing it this way. I've been noticing the tag hasn't been getting stuck like before, so it is a good method. However, I have to um, figure out how I'm doing this like for so many of them. So, and it, at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to how well it is and I'm very particular. So before I get on with the next batch of sewing that I wanna do, I just wanna take a minute and slow down and make sure that they're gonna be almost perfect. Not quite, but almost perfect. So that's kind of my thoughts and where I am on um, this right now. And then once I feel like everything's so dusty, you wouldn't have no idea how much I clean in here. I am just sitting here and, oh, I was just gonna show you. I did finish this one. I said it was done, but then I decided to put the scrunchie together. That's why I brought you downstairs with me because I had wanted to show you the finished cherry one. So this one's mine and I've just been testing out the material and it feels comfortable, it's so cute. So I got that done and I wanted to share that one Look who decided to join me. Cups. I'm just gonna do some weird kind of fun thing, not really. Um, I feel like this is like super glamorous. I don't know like when I see other people take their makeup off or do their hair. I just have very unruly hair. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do to take off my makeup is this stuff here. I have another product if I have mascara and stuff on my eyes. I have this, but for tonight, and I'm just using these. Um, when I was like making the first vlog, I talked about makeup remover rounds. This is what I'm talking about because depending on how much makeup I'm wearing, like, like today, I just, I didn't put a lot on. So like, this is just like my forehead. I really like feel like I'm exposing myself here. Like, look at my dirty makeup thing. <laughs> that is soaring. Um, I just went in and checked on because it is about time, but he gets up a lot. So even though I tried to use just one of these pads, Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. They are like cotton, um, but, and my face gets so red. Um, however, that's why I had wanted to make some. And it's just, um, there are some, let me try and just buy a pack of some them because like I don't have a serger right now to be making them. And I'm sure they're like, it's a lot to make these, like a lot of work because they're so little to cut them out. So maybe one day I'll get around to making it. It's just, it's a time thing. But yeah, I switched to another one and there's still, there's still makeup on my face coming off. And then my eyebrows. So I try not to rub too, too much because I think that's why I like, I'll lose eyebrows. So I kind of just want to soak it there for a second. That's good enough. So once I'm done using that, which again is this thing right here, um, this makeup remover, you don't have to even wash after with that, but I always do. Next is gonna be this bottle of stuff that I use. So I'm gonna go ahead. I just take a little bit in my hands. Just telling what I usually do. Been like photogenic or anything, so my 
sincerest apologies if this scares you seeing me like this. to stop because normally I don't have to pin this stuff and this material is like the polka dot one but for some reason this is very um it was giving me a bit of a hard time it likes to shift so I'm just gonna stop for a second and pin them see if I have time to sew a few more and if I don't I'll just set them aside for later I just I love having that shelf behind me so useful to have it like I can't tell you though how much nicer it is to have those shelves while I'm doing these scrunchies I'm just kind of throwing them on the shelf. I start out really neat and then it gets messy. It's like, oh, do you remember like going back to school and you'd have a fresh notebook? Tell me if there's anybody out there like this. You have a fresh notebook, you start at the beginning of the year or in your planner and it's like everything is so neat and then like halfway through the year you're like, it's like scribble scratch. What was my note there? So. Um, I started with folding these really nicely like they're just laid out so nice on that shelf and then now it's like after I get the side seam and I'm not even done like there's threads that need to be trimmed on this like there's way more steps before I even sew it into a tube um, it takes me a long time so I'm like just throwing them up there like not really throwing them up there but as you've seen earlier, if I showed you the uh, gingham typey, not gingham, the uh, like flannel -y plaid ones, I just kind of toss them up there because I keep grabbing them to re sew them and it's really hard to 100% keep everything in a pile and it takes me a long time to do everything, anyways. So I'm like, you know what, they're fine. The, the parts that it has to be perfect is when it's lining up and my cuts and all that kind of stuff and sewing straight. Um, as per how I store them, they can kind of be in a heaping pile to be honest with you because I have to find some things that I have to let go of because not everything is going to be perfect. So they're not going to be like super aesthetic sitting up there on a shelf and that's not reality. sorry if that this vlog is like all over the place my apologies um i'm just struggling a lot of different things and i have to write things down so if it's a like choppy or jumpy i'm really sorry i'm trying to juggle a lot of things and be thinking about like what's coming next so i'm like doing this but i'm making plans for more fabric i did place quite a few fabric orders so i have some that is um on its way to me right now and i got two of my orders already this week and this one here is a um think of it like it is so soft it's like t-shirt material sorry i'm eating my hair um so this isn't it the process on this is completely different so i just grabbed it because i had an idea for a long time of something that i wanted to put together and um i just i was like you know what i'm gonna try it so it is for scrunchies but I will work on that whenever I have time to separate. It's not, it's on my to-do list, but it's kind of set aside on my to-do list because I need to get this stuff done. And I also wanted to bring in another material as well. So I want to show you what I got here. Let me just get it ready. Hold on. Check this out. Sorry guys, check this out. Is that not so gorgeous? this color 
it's so gorgeous so i want to see how these go as per like to be made into scrunchies so i got that color sorry let me just get that folded and <laughs> i'm full of strings and i got one more other color sorry guys i'm full of strings and look at this one does this not look like a pearl like this is maybe like that should be the name the color name of this hair scrunchie should be pearl so i need to try all these they're different materials so um basically working with them is going to be completely different than the other materials that i've done but i've already researched all this stuff for a long time now i um wanted to do this stuff i think did i mention it on a vlog i feel like i mentioned it on a vlog a while back that i had wanted to do like did i say satin scrunchies there was material that i wanted and it was way back in the spring and I thought that I had mentioned, maybe I didn't leave it in the vlog, but I had been looking for like, um, I was looking for like a baby yellow, uh, baby pink, like a nice light pink, uh, lilac kind of color. And so I was looking for that, but that material was going to be satin scrunchies and it was just out of stock at the time of the one color. But sometimes things that don't really work out at the time even work out better because honestly, I would have bought a bunch of the other colors but i went with a different direction and chose two neutrals so that's why i picked the um this one and also i just want to get the feel of working for it usually once i get into doing a material and working it and seeing how it sits then i'll know if this is it so this little run that i just showed you right here was just um testing like supplies and suppliers and also you just don't know until you get it not all satins are the same so i am just in the phase of am i happy with this am i happy with the supply and all that kind of stuff and i'm very happy with it it came it was wonderfully packaged i mean i just can't get over the color i can't wait i really want to sleep scrunchy because sometimes i i don't sleep with a satin pillowcase at all but i do tend to especially if i went back to curling my hair like gather my hair really low and then stick a scrunchie in it. So I think these might be nice. They would also be really nice for like if there was a special occasion. So I gotta put these away. And because I am not there, that will be something that I think I'll probably film a bit with you guys of doing. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna film parts of it because I just like documenting stuff and then I can like see where I'm kind of going. I don't know, I just enjoy documenting the process. So, but the goal is to get these done and then I have some new fabrics um, coming in and I do need to do a tidy up of this room because I feel like it gets out of hand really quick. I've got like just cut mats, scissors over here. I don't even, we did not unbox that weight scale. If you've been following along, I'm like, yeah, we're going to unbox the weight scale. And I am not there. I am not there. Um, hopefully by the time that you see this video, I have my shop going and I have unboxed that weight scale. So I think that this is the perfect spot to end this vlog. I just want to take a minute and say thank you so much for watching and every like and hanging out here. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the vlog and I look forward to doing all these other things and working on more stuff coming up this fall. Thanks again for being here. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I would love that and I will see you guys in October. Bye!